Morgan's Van Girai was widely regarded as the face of Zimbabwe's opposition. We must give Mugabe a resounding defeat. He was a high school dropout and mine worker who became a trade union leader during Zimbabwe's economic downturn in the late 1980s. He led a series of nationwide workers' strikes against tax increase that brought the Robert Mugabe government to the negotiating table. The success of the union encouraged Vangarite to help form the country's first opposition party, the Movement for Democratic Change, in 1999. He ran for president in 2002, 2008, and 2013, all of which he lost. Svangirai was popular, but he came at a cost. He and his supporters were harassed and beaten by security forces after claims he won the 2008 elections. More than 100 were reportedly killed. He withdrew from a runoff election in protest. We will no longer participate in this violent, illegitimate sham of an election process. After months of negotiations, Svangirai was sworn in as prime minister in 2009 in a power-sharing government with Robert Mugabe. But by the end of his term in 2013, critics would see his acceptance of the prime ministerial role as a sellout. Svangirai's successive defeat took a toll on the MDC, which split after much infighting. His illness exposed divisions in his party as officials scrambled to take over leadership. But analysts say Without Changirai, it could be the end of the MDC. People do love Changirai more than they love the M entire MDC. A lot of people in the rural areas, they, they know Changirai more than they know the brand MDC team. Swangirai's death could weaken the opposition at a time when the ruling ZANU-PF is approaching its fourth decade in power.